Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 7 of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Right, let's just shut this passenger off. Alright, bye. Um, so, that was the fourth set of taxi driver dealt with, so it should be up to 80. 80, 80, 80, where are you? Uh, yeah, there we go, passengers made 80. Um, so in the previous episode, we completed the first mission for Cortez, which was Treacherous Swine, which we chased down a guy with a chainsaw. We then finished off all the other eight sun jumps that we can do at this point, as well as the final seven rampages that we can do at this point. Um, and so this episode, we we have very little to do, basically, following the guide that I am. Um, I have to do sidewise until the Phnom Phen 86 mission. Uh, the only thing really, I mean, we have one more set of this to do, it takes to 100, uh, which I might do at the start of next episode, I don't know, just to get that done before. The only other thing is the pizza driver, pizza, um, pizza boy job, sorry. Um, so we're going to do that today, after this, um, this next mission. And then after that, we'll just start working through missions pretty much non-stop. So, we've done pretty well. I, did, I wasn't sure if we'd be able to actually fit in all these side stuff between missions, but we did, so it's good. It's because a lot of things I didn't think would would take would be as quick as they did, especially the rampages. I thought they'd be incredibly difficult, like the GTA 3 ones, where I'd only be able to do like three at a time, but I did an eight and a seven, so. Alright, let's find out some next mission, which should be Mall Shootout. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, 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 no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. Okay, meet the courier at the mall. Actually, no, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. I want that. I want the speedy car. I want the speedy one. Okay, doke. Time to meet a courier. So, yeah, guys, we don't actually have that many missions. Um, we've got our weapon, that's fine. Uh, we've got our pistol. That's good. Actually, let me just check how many missions do we actually have left. Um, we got this one. Oh, so we've just got two more, including this one for Cortez, then two for Diaz. So, so good. Alright, this is that awkward, bloody place. It's difficult to try and find where you're actually supposed to, how you're supposed to get into the roof. It's around here, isn't it? Or something, I don't know. Don't think I could have gone further away. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just one is that we need weapons, which is not a good sign. Wait. Oh, is it down there? Oh, damn it. Uh. Oh, that's fine. Hello. The rain. She's very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh. Free imperialist American pig! That is property of a government français! Hand it over! You American idiot! They followed you here! Feed him for the police! Uh oh. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You eat my dirt! Oh, great, okay. 
Actually, no, I'm going to take this because I'm terrible on a bike, basically. Come on, go, 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 go. Come here, you. <laughs> Alright. We got the chips. Going back to the kernel. Okay. We'll do. No, 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 there's no bashing me. There's no bashing me. Don't even think about it. Oops. Oops, she dazes. Alright, these guys can't take me on. Come on! Please don't do this. Alright, should be able to make it there in good shape. Alright, Colonel. Here are your chips. There we go. Easy freaking peasy. Right, oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna we'll take all the speedy car. Just to get things moving. Get this show on the road. Um, so yeah, so the next thing we're going to do, guys, is the Pizza Boy job, uh, which is, um, well, well, we want a pizza moped, and we went to the pizza delivery shop, well, the pizza place, anyway, before to go ahead and package, so that is where we shall go. So I'm not sure how many missions we'll get done today. I mean, they usually are quite quick, about five minutes or so, so. We'll see. Uh, hang on. No, no. Go down this way. Let me just see whereabouts we are here. Um, get rid of that. Right, okay. Just trying to get a general idea of where it was, because I don't remember. I'm going to go up this way. So I'm going to do the same with ambulance. I think this one's only 10 levels long though, so... Shouldn't... It shouldn't be too bad there. I think this is it. Yep, there's the piece of place. Cool. So, if we come around to the side... Well... Okay, I guess that's the... Um, contract the uh, assassination contract thing. We want to take this uh, pizza bike here. We we'll deliver the customers. We'll throw the pizzas to the customer. We'll do a drive by to throw the pizzas. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Think. That's it. I think that's all you have to do, really. You again? Well, deliver these quick, pal. Do you need delivering, pal? Okay, so I shall see you guys in our last level. All right, guys. Deliver the damn food, Mister. All right, those are rude. Uh, we're on that level ten again, the second time. <laughs> uh. This is the third time I've gone through this. The first time I reached level 7, and then I made a stupid mistake and decided to try and jump across the river on a moped um, over one of the stunt jumps that we did in the last episode, which did not turn out too well for me. I think you can probably guess that. And then the second time, I actually reached level 10. Only had two more pieces to drop off where I lightly tapped into the back of a police car, ended up flying off my bike, and then getting arrested by the police officer whilst I was on the ground. So you can imagine how annoying that was, but here we are, third time's the charm. Um, so obviously there is a, this, the one thing that's universal across all ten levels of this activity, or job if you want to call it that, is that you will always get six pizzas, and you'll always have five minutes to finish the, well, do the round. Um, unlike paramedic, uh, you 
cannot obtain new pizzas until you have run out. So you can't just grab four, pop in and grab the other two and then go back down. So my advice is, I mean, same as paramedic in the terms that don't ever uh, return to the shop more times than you need to. Or at least try your very best to avoid doing so. But if you need to, then if say like you're on level 8 or something and you have four to the north and four to the south of the pizza shop I'd do the four to the north and then just waste the other two that you have just throw them on the ground and then pick up a fresh set so it saves you having to go all the way back, you know what I mean? Mister, deliver these pronto yes, yes, I know amigo. So we've only got four more to do, that's not too bad Like I said, this is alright the time that I was at last time I was like, oh yeah, I'm not doing so bad here and then I ended up just slightly tapping to the back of a police car. Went flying, and as by the time I got back on the bike, I just got pulled off and busted. So that wasn't fun. So don't piss off the police. That's the general message, I think. But other than that, it's not too tricky an activity or a job. So even though uh, it took me to take me more times to do this, and probably longer to do this than it did the paramedic. Hey ho. It's just how life goes, isn't it? Alright. More orders? What? I thought that was the end. This is level 10. I thought there were only 10 levels. What? Oh, it is. Awesome. Right, obviously it was just, you know, the generic message then. Alright. Um, so yeah, we managed to finally do that. That's very good. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're... Well, I'm just about to drop us back off of the Ocean View Hotel, just so we can top up our thing. I think it also takes our armour up to 150 as well. Um, so obviously it is a very useful reward and if it does do arm, which I think it does, that is practically another level of health on top of what we already had. So obviously we could have a hundred health and a hundred body armor. Now we'd practically have three hundred well we'd have three hundred altogether, so that is gonna be very useful, I think. So that's probably why it's recommended that you do this in this earlier set of stuff where the missions are still relatively easy. So yeah. Well, I'm glad we've finally done that now. That was starting to do my head in. Oh, no, never mind. It doesn't do armor. I thought it might have done. Oh, well, that's still another 50 points of health. All right, let's just save over that one. So, for the remainder of the episode, guys, we're going to work on missions. So, it looks like there's another three that we're going to be doing in total, whether we get all three done today, I'm not sure. I can't say I know. Um, seeing as we're at 15 minutes now, they do usually take about five minutes, don't they? It'd be cool if we did. Um, but if we don't, that is completely fine. Jesus, come on. Alright. So we have one more mission for Cortez, at least at this point anyway, or that we will be doing as part of the sort of act one that I've established. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, oh, oh my god, we are not having a good time with this bike, are we? Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what even? <laughs> What is going on? Why is it hitting every single bloody thing that stands in the way? So I should do my head in there. Alright, Cortez. Let us fire up the next mission. Which is... Guardian Angels. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. 
Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Okay. Cause we're in some firepower for you at the multi-story car park. Oh great. So we're gonna be I assume we're watching over like a sniper. Which let's be honest, is gonna go badly, isn't it? Because they're not gonna have a show, we just stand there with a sniper and nothing goes wrong. Let's just watch over the cutscene and then. Uh everything goes well. Mission completed. Oh my god, come on. This is not my day. I do apologize for the terrible driving that you guys are witnessing right now. Oh my lord! Holy crap, I am having a bad day. Okay, well. Hog and all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay. Go with us to the drop-off and watch over Diaz. Right. The crew goes in a sort of which allows you to manually aim in the first person. We've already used it, haven't we, for um, a rampage. For most people. It will be the first time that they used it, so understandable. Yes, I know how to fire a weapon. Thank you, game. Ooh, hello. Okay. Excuse me. Be Coltese's new gun until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, and um, that happened. Let's give that another. Give that another try. Here come the Cubans. Watch over the deal, making sure Diaz and Lance are safe. Why am I stuck? Don't worry, I got you covered. The other men are getting cut down. They think they can take us because those deer have to hear you. You are as good. I will cut your soul like a spider. Oh great, jeez Louise, how many? How many people? Is that it? Let's go. Yes, gotcha. Right, 
I can't see. What? 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 Okay, Elk. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> I mean, we did pretty well. I mean, mission-wise, could have gone better for Diaz. Okay, Elk. There you go. I live. Take head, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo. I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Alright, wow, well, thousand. Very good. Alright. Uh, so now we need to wait for Diaz. See, we might get a phone call at some point. Not too sure. Um, oh, hello. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick called Seth, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. I can't see, but is that clear? Okay. Well, there he is. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Alright, awesome. Uh, let's see, so... Diaz is on the island. In the middle. Yes, yeah, fine. Let, let's the go. So he must have his own mansion then, I assume. Alright, buddy. My new friend. What do you got for me? The chase. your head off uh, who is this dickhead Tommy Versetti uh, you remember me excuse me I'm a little anxious <sighs> never trust a goddamn horse you do a good job you work for me now I work for money as I said amigo you work for me now I work shut for up me. some Judas has betrayed me he thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill you. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is going to be easy. Okay. I'll just borrow this. Thank you. Alrighty, so he's a bit on edge. That's fine. We the boss anyway, Tommy Vassetti. No Tommy, he's so sassy. Right, okay, so it doesn't matter which side we go through. Um, yeah, he's like, you work for me now. No, I work for the money. You work for... So, yeah, you work for me now. I work for the shut up. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Oh, wee. Sorry. Okey doke. What are we doing here? Out of the way, freak. Have a look through his window. Uh, I guess we could be like a peeping Tom, huh? Huh? Yeah, huh? Uh huh? Because he's called Tommy. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> Keep on his tail, but don't kill him. What? Loser. Whoa. Don't you dare, bitch. Why can't I kill him? Ah. Too slow, Grandad. You better keep on running, asshole. Okay, oh. Alright. 
I'm on to you. Oh. There's no shooting me. I'm just gonna swim side to side. You want you you can't see me. You didn't know this kid. You know, this kid's done the pizza bar job. He's got an extra 50 health. You weren't expecting that, were you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. This guy's picking up hidden packages. You don't know the body armor he's picking up. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Go on. I'm gonna shoot me. You have to shoot this guy in front. I don't think you'll do that, will you? I mean, you probably will, but I'm not gonna take damage from it, even though I just did. But that was a fatal error. I stuck my toe on the pedal. That's what happened. Oh my god, how long do I have to chase this guy for? Come on! Good Diaz. Throw me in the deep end here, isn't he? Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, no, 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 you don't. No, you freaking don't. I don't think so. Yeah, that's right, you shoot at him, so then it's not me you shoot at him. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Okay, same as going on that middle island there, isn't it? Where we got those hidden packages. Those like that. Those last couple. <sighs> Bye. I guess that may be in the that's in the follow-up mission. I guess. All right, not so bad. Um, so, the really only two things I have left for set five of the uh, for um, Act One is that last set of taxi driver drop drop, uh, drop off and the Phnom Penh eighty six, which is the next mission for Diaz. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do a quick cut here, and I'll see you guys back at the Ocean View apartment. All right, guys. Let's just save up. Yes, yes, all that jazz. All right, let's have a look at our stats. So we're a drop man now, 905, very good. No, I don't care about all this, I just wanna see. We're at 25% complete, guys. So we're exactly a quarter of the way into the game. Uh, let's see at all our stats. So first we've got 15 out of 35 rampages, 35 out of 100 in packages. Uh, 42 headshots, okay, that's good. So we've got about that's 58 more for the trophy. Um, got 16 out of 36 stunt jumps. Uh, what else we got? 8 out of 15 stars knocked off. 1 out of 5 assassination contracts done. Um, I have a lot of pieces delivered, that's because, like I said, it took me a couple of times to do. Uh, I think that's probably everything. We've got the properties as well, haven't we? Okay, cool. So that's where we're going to end up. In the next episode, guys, we will go off what our usual pattern, which I'm going to do the final set of Taxi Driver next episode rather than the episode after, which I've been doing this whole time, which is because it just takes so long. It's just such effort. I want to have that little break in between. But seeing as the next episode, we will be finishing off the Act 1 of sorts. Uh, that is what we're going to do. So we're going to do that. We're going to do Phnom Penh 86 and start working on some of the other stuff that's become available to us. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode 9. Everything changes. Bye, guys.